everyone, happy Monday. Wallace here with your Monday video. Today is gonna to be part one of my gift guide. This is the non-books part. So I'm not gonna be giving you book titles to give to people or to ask for. This is like bookish goodies. So first of all, know that there is a column on Book Riot called Book Fetish. And that is where you can find like all the bookish stuff that you ever, ever wanted and that you never even knew you wanted. Um, so I will link to that column down below. You will go down a wormhole, so have a little bit of time ready if you go to check it out. Also, I recently got the out of print catalog that they sent out this year. Um, I don't know exactly who gets this, and I don't know if it's like you had to order something from them this year. I know a lot of people in my area in LA got it, so I don't know if they're also just testing certain markets for it, but it was so much fun. I mean, all of this is available online too. It was just fun to like look through and pick out some things and like circle them that I really liked. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and show you some of my favorites of these. And then I'm gonna show you one of my very favorite Etsy candle lines that has like, you know, it's like all bookish candles, which is really fun. But also be sure to check out Book Riot's shop because there's a lot of goodies in the Book Riot shop that are all bookish and so much fun and probably stuff that you've seen some of your favorite Book Riot contributors or staff members wearing and really liked it um, or seen fans of Book Riot wearing and really liked it. So I will also link to that down below. So they have all of your regular like Harry Potter stuff. Like everybody's got Harry Potter stuff. So that's not hard to find. The Harry Potter Alliance is also a really good place to find Harry Potter stuff because they support good causes. Uh, I can link to them below as well. Here's one Harry Potter thing. I'm not gonna show you a ton, but I actually happen to have these socks and I love them and I actually wore them today. They have the Matilda sweatshirt, which I love, love, love. It's a nice like light pink color. And Matilda is a favorite character of mine from childhood and even now. I happen to be particularly in love with the rainbow socks, the rainbow catalog socks. Most of you are familiar with their t-shirts. They have like a variety of, you know, bookish t-shirts and sweatshirts that have the covers of um, books on them and we actually have a curated selection on the Book Riot shop so if you want to see the ones that that Book Riot has picked out as favorites it's they're all there in the Book Riot shop they also have all of the you know fun bookish mugs by the way Etsy also has a ton of really great bookish mugs so like type in your favorite title type in your favorite quote whatever and you're bound to find <laughs> some type of mug or pillow or something that uh has it on it they have some cool scarves and i happen to be particularly into this one which is the library stamp but i mean it which is kind of fun because you know the library stamp is there but you can also just wear it pretty regularly if you can see it. it you can't even tell exactly what the print is on it so even if you had to dress up or something it just looks like you're wearing like a block printed scarf and only you know that it's actually library stamps in there. So I kind of love that too. And the yellow one is kind of similar, the yellow one up here. You know, it looks like it's just like a striped scarf, but really it's library, um, library card. So anyway, they have, I mean, they have others too and they're all fun, but those two are particularly ones that you could just kind of get away with if you aren't really somewhere where bookish flair would be the dress code. They came out with some swell bottles, which are great. Great for giving us gifts because they're just reusable bottles. Another great place to get bookish water bottles is uh, Powell's from Portland, but you can go on their website. The Strand might actually have some too, but I have one in particular from Powell's that I love. And it has like, like as you fill it up, like you have different authors that you're filling the water up to. So it's just a fun way to make sure everybody's getting, you know, their water for the day. Um, or if you have it on your desk, it's just something fun to look at. So that's Powell's Bookstore up in Portland. They have a website and you can look up their water bottles as well. Obviously anything to do with cats, I'm gonna love. So these are bookstore cat stuff. Like there's like, I think they have a pin, they have a tote, they have a t-shirt. I'm loving their book nerd line. Sorry, I don't know if you can see that very well. I actually particularly love these socks and I think I want the socks that say book nerd on the bottom and have the books along the top up here. Um, Cause I think it's fun when things say things at the bottom of, of your socks and you didn't like realize they're there until you put your feet up. Also, as far as socks go, I love these Sherlock Holmes socks. First of all, I love the colors. Brown happens to be my favorite color and I'm like a neutral person, but they're little Sherlock Holmes heads. I don't know if you can see that with his pipe. Um, 
and I love it because I feel like from far away you can't quite tell what those are and they just look like dress socks and then you get closer and you see that they're Sherlock Holmes. A lot of, a lot of their socks are really cute but you can like tell like there's like pink with typewriters and stuff so you have to be like in a setting that that's okay with. Um, so these ones in particular just felt like they could look like dress up socks kind of under something and then you get closer and see what they are and I love that that idea for those of us who likes to like to incorporate some bookish things to make us like smile throughout the day um but don't want to like wear head to toe bookish gear which who doesn't but sometimes it's not appropriate okay my next one that i'm going to show you this is my favorite etsy line of candles i've tried a few um as far as like bookish candles go this one is called Frostbeard studio and i will again link it down below Frostbeard studio these are soy candles i know some people don't like soy um, everybody's particular about what they like. These are soy candles. Um, they have such a good variety of different types of like scents. Um, and they're really, they have really cute packaging. So this is one of their bigger candles. This one is 7.7 .7 ounces and it says burn time is 40 plus hours. Um, and they really do burn nicely. I've only burned this one a little bit, but I mean, I burned it for a while, but it only went down that far. It's really nice. I got this one as a gift from a friend. It smells so good. Um, it's old. This one's called Old Books, and it's aged. It's, the scents are aged paper and dusty shelves, which I love it. It says it right there, so that like you don't have to go look it back up on the website, which is kind of fun. And then these are two. I got a little like trio when I first tried them out. I got a trio, and Sassanoff was the other one from um, Outlander. I just didn't bring it over here with me because I only have two hands. Um, and also these are the two that I burned more this one is rainy day reads i don't know can you see that and it has fresh rain ginger and lavender so this is like the travel size tin so this one's 3.9 ounces and it burns for 20 hour burn time so it's basically like half the size of the other one that i showed you and it's they say it's vegan so if that is important to you these are vegan um, and this one is reading at the cafe and so this one is like by far my favorite i need to get a really big one of this because i like burned it a bunch and then i got to the end and then started slowing down because i didn't want to use it up because it's coffee and chocolate pastry mm -hmm, so good you guys it's not too sweet the coffee like makes it so it's not too sweet and like sickly smelling it's just like it does smell like a cafe it's great and so this is also the travel size version and then along this is a different candle company from Etsy that I also really like but I've only tried one candle so I can't speak to the entire line but I really like this one and it smells so yummy um this one is called from the page so I'll put it I'll show you from the page is the is it in focus is the brand and this one is called afternoon tea and it's earl grey tea and hints of fruit um but you can also get like m more bookish candles than this this is just some i mean tea makes me think of reading also so this is the one that i chose to get um but i lost the top but it's just like a regular screw on top it's really similar to this one but i can't remember what color it is um so these are my two favorite candle lines i'd say frost beard i have more from but from the page is also really cute and as you can see the packaging is really nice as well so really fun little gifts and they're not too expensive um so they're good gifts and you can send them like straight from Etsy to the people that you want to send them to so that you don't have to have them sent to you and then resend. It's eco-friendly and it's an alternative for those of you who are like anti-Amazon, um, but also kind of personalized fun bookish gifts. If you have more non-book bookish gifts that you have ideas for that you're doing, you can put them down in the comments and give people good ideas. I will be back next week with my book recommendations. Until then. Happy reading.